Hello there, my name is Isman. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. And uh, this time we're going to be creating this uh, spaghetti uh, plate. Uh, so yeah, something very delicious. And uh, yeah, but uh, this is my first attempt, so I haven't tried this at all. I uh, just want to. Sh I I thought of uh, different ways to create uh, different ways to approach this, and uh, that's what we are going to go through and uh, see how it goes. So we are going to go with something a bit simple, not too complicated. Maybe we can go with uh, this plate here uh, because I, I'm seeing a lot of these look good, but uh, they can be very hard to make. Mostly if we if this is our first try. So let's begin with. Uh, something more simple so i've already downloaded the image here so you, if you're using google chrome you can just drag the image and drop it into blender like this where is this uh, let me get it. so just drag and drop in blender like that so this is going to be our reference image so there are a few ways you can approach this you can use the a regular body simulation or soft body simulation to simulate every uh, noodle you see here uh, but uh, that is really computer intensive I tried it and uh, yeah it would really uh, my computer couldn't handle it but uh, if you also can handle it let me show you how you can approach that so the first thing you would do is uh, create uh, the plate so shift a let me add the why is this shortcuts not showing yeah so let me add a plate we just use a circle maybe scale it around there so this is our circle you need to add in a few uh, loop cuts for this to work correctly subdivide yeah, just subdivide something like that and now uh, we need for so for the noodle you just need to go you just need to add a curve object a basic curve i just found out this i think today uh that uh, soft bodies can work on uh, these curves i didn't know that so if you go in the physics tab you will find the soft body uh, collision i think this option was also available in just in 2.79 i just never used it so if you turn on soft, soft body for this you can play back and you see that uh, uh so this is is being treated as a soft body but uh, it's not colliding with the object so we need to turn on enable collision for this and uh, let's simulate this again yeah so the reason it's not uh, colliding with this is because uh, this doesn't have any thickness and uh, i think for the collision for the collision to work really well this need to this needs to have uh, some thickness to it so let's add um how is it called a solidify modifier and uh, make sure that it's above the collision and uh, let's play back yes yeah, so i think we also need the, to give this some thickness so if we go to the uh, curve settings here under geometry under depth under bevel we can increase the depth you can see right now it's only let me turn on cavity and random face random colors if we zoom into this here you can see it's just a semi circle so the profile is just a semi circle so for that you just go under shape and turn the fill mode from half to full so that is a full a circle like that and uh, let's play back again it's oh okay i get it i get the reason why it's going through yeah uh, it's because uh, for this to work well you need more subdivisions here because just one subdivision is not enough uh, to create to calculate uh, a good integrity uh, simulation uh, so sub body simulation so we need to subdivide this a few times and uh, let's play this again it's still going through for some reason so let's try uh, removing this goal setting because it's also stopping it from uh, uh, falling down completely yeah so you see now it's working I think the problem was that uh, was this goal here so you can also come in and uh, change some of these <coughs> uh, settings <coughs> 
And because you see the noodle is now a bit stretching. So you might want to change some of these settings. Yeah, I haven't played a lot with these settings. So I don't really know which ones to change, but I know some of these settings should be able to change to reduce that uh, stretchness in that. I think it's uh, the edges. Yes, so this, if you play around with this, maybe plasticity and uh, bending here. So if we bring this up, let's see. Yeah, you see the stretching has been minimized. And that's what we want. Oh, I think we can also reduce the simulation integrity. I don't know if this is available for, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because uh, if you reduce that, the simulation might be buggy, but uh, it will be a bit faster. Uh, because we are, we are attempting to simulate around, I don't know, 500 noodles. Uh, so if we have a lot of, if the integrity is, uh, is high, uh, then I remember there was a setting for this in 2.79. I don't know if it was available for other, for meshes, but not available for curves. Simulation speed, object friction, cache, goals, da, 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 aerodynamics. Solver, I think it should be in the solver. I, yeah, it's uh, the step size. So if you reduce all the error limits, <coughs> so low values give you more precision. So if we increase this, it should give us less precision, but uh, faster simulations. And yeah, maybe we can even increase this a bit more. You see, it's starting to go through, but uh, that's not a problem. Uh, so you you would also need to turn on self collision uh, so that the noodle can collide with itself so maybe let's just make it fall on itself like that so you can see we're just simulating one noodle and uh, it is taking this long to simulate just one thing like that so imagine if you had as many as these And uh, it would really be hard to make to sell them uh, in this way. So in the next part of this tutorial, we'll, we are going to look at a different way of just modeling uh, each noodle until not each noodle. We're just going to model a few of these and then uh, make them squeal or rotate around it themselves and then duplicate those, those a few times. So if we duplicate them an, enough times, uh, they will start intersecting. But uh, no one will be able to notice that if we add some materials and drop some particles on top of that. So yeah, let's look at that in the next uh, part.